but the banana balls are hands down my favorite. So I see them on Craigslist all the time, so I knew I could get one that needed a new home, needed to be adopted, but they were always so expensive. But Snicket here costs next to nothing. So I jumped on that. She said that she had three or four people that had contacted her about him. But because I was so, so interested, wanted him so badly, that she decided that I was his best bet because she could tell that I would give him a great home because I wanted him so badly. Look at how cute he is. Look at him. Look at that little nose. And then just look at his body. I love the freckles. And he's just so gorgeous. And look at those freckles. I, just, I love the freckles. But she originally said that he was eating live, which was a concern for me because I don't live in an area where I can easily get live mice. And after voicing that, she said he would switch no problem. He'd be fine eating frozen thawed. And sure enough, he's just like Phoenix. He's a great eater. He eats a frozen thawed hopper mouse every 10 days or so. And he's an amazing eater. So first of all, bonus points to anyone who can guess how we came up with the name Snicket. So leave your guesses in the comments below and I'll tell you if you are right or wrong. If you get it right, my mom will be very happy because she's the one that came up with his name. So now we'll move on to his enclosure and I'll show you that. All right, so this is his enclosure on my rack. It is a little messy back there. I just have to organize all that stuff, but for now it's just shoved in an extra tank. He is in a 20 gallon long on a mix of Reptobark and Eco Earth. It needs a little more Eco Earth though. I had more Reptobark than Eco Earth at the time. So he's got his cool hide over there, his warm hide and heating pad over here, and these flowers you may recognize from Arcadius's enclosure. They were in his 55 gallon vacation home, I called it. But they have been cleaned and they're now in here. We've got his water dish and just one of those cool stick on plants. So that is his enclosure. A little bare, but it's a work in progress. I feel really weird filming with my left hand right now. It's probably about a camera shaking, but he's kind of attached to my right hand. So left hand it is. Lastly, let me know in the comments below what your favorite ball python morph is because there's just so many of them. The banana balls are hands down my favorite but there are so many that I love. So yeah, let me know below which morphs are your favorites. So yeah, that is it for today's video. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. And we will see you for the next one.